Hello, everybody. Today we're going to talk about um, what a chromosome is. Okay, and we're also going to be talking about homologous chromosomes. All right. So what you see in front of you right here are two pictures of or one picture of two chromosomes. So this is a chromosome. This is a chromosome. All right. How did we get this picture? Well, this is what, how chromosomes. This is what this is what chromosomes look like under the microscope. So literally, somebody was looking at these uh, a cell underneath the microscope, and they took a picture, okay, of what they saw, and then they just blew it up. They just printed out the picture, and this is what they saw. I blew it up. Okay, for the purposes of this video, um, so that's why they look so big. Okay, so our chromosomes are really not that big. All right, now what is a chromosome? So a chromosome is basically DNA that's been coiled around a protein. So I have this little model here, and this black thing here—it's like a core, right? This represents the protein. All right, so and really when you're looking at a chromosome when you take the protein out right that the DNA is curled around and you the DNA unwinds you can see the double helix see that so that's what a chromosome is it's just DNA that's been wrapped around protein okay and it's been condensed so that's why we're able to see it in this way that's why you can't see a double helix so when you see a chromosome or whenever we talk about a chromosome remember we're just it's the same thing as dna it's literally the same thing it's just think of dna that's been super like tightly packed okay because dna is super long all right now let's talk a, a couple more things okay what are homologous, homologous chromosomes okay so what are homologous chromosomes Chrom homologous chromosomes are chromosomes that have the same size and shape. Notice how these guys are the same length, they're the same size in terms of thickness, and they have the same shape. You, when you have two chromosomes, all right, and you're the and that are the same size, same shape, then we say that these chromosomes are homologous okay meaning they're the same they're the same size same shape now how would we get chromosomes that um, how, that are the same size same shape well remember in previously we talked about um, genes and how we get our genes and so forth but now okay we're getting to the more um, better explanation here okay which is one chromosome Okay, that's the same size, same shape as the other one, came from dad. So when I was conceived, imagine these were my chromosomes. One of these chromosomes, okay, my dad gave to me, all right? And the other chromosome, okay, came from mom. So she gave, my mom gave me this one. So that's, and it's the same thing is true in you. So your dad gave you one chromosome, Okay, and your dad and your mom gives you another chromosome that are the same size, same shape. Okay, and remember from our previous videos um, that you in actually inherit 23 chromosomes from dad, 23 chromosomes from mom, and if you partner them all up, which we'll, we'll which we'll do in the, in the next video, is you'll find that there you're going to have 23 pairs of chromosomes that are the same size same shape all right now one last thing why are chromosomes so important because remember pieces of dna okay which are, or pieces of chromosomes okay are called genes all right so let's say we have two genes Okay, or two traits, and we have two versions of each gene, or two alleles for each trait, right? So now, so let's say that this gene, this chromosome had a piece of DNA, and the gene, the DNA sequence, okay, um, was a dominant version, okay? Now, and let's say mom passed on, okay, 
a gene for the same trait, um, and let's say she gave you the recessive version. Okay, right? So this is K gene here, right? And let's imagine that mom, dad gave you a gene, okay, and mom gave you a gene, okay, that were recessive for this trait, right? So now, as you can see, okay, when you get your chromosomes, that's how we get our genes because genes are pieces of chromosomes or pieces of DNA, right? And now, okay, what would this person look like, okay, if these, if we had these traits in mind? Well, this person would have black hair, right, because they have a dominant gene, and they would have a disease, okay, these, they don't have any good copies, any dominant copies, so they eventually will have a disease. What disease? Well, I didn't specify, but at the end of the day, okay, you need to remember that a chromosome is a piece of DNA. It has genes, pieces of DNA, right, that are instructions for making proteins. We get one from dad, we get one from mom, and chromosomes that are the same size, same shape, are called homologous, and they will carry genes, okay, for similar, for similar traits, okay? You wouldn't find the hair gene, okay, on a different chromosome, okay, you will only find it on its homologous chromosome. So that's why it's super important that when we pass on our chromosomes to our kids, we only give one because mom will give the other, okay? And that's how we'll get our two genes for each trait. All right, guys, so now we have a picture of all our chromosomes, okay, in, the human, in a human cell. So every single cell in your body, okay, that is diploid, all right, okay, will have 46 chromosomes. Okay, and this is a picture of um, somebody's um, chromosomes, all right, that was taken um, uh, when somebody was looking at these chromosomes um, under the microscope. And the only time you can see these chromosomes like this is during mitosis, all right? Now, this picture, when you take a picture of all the chromosomes, you cut them out and you organize them like this, we call this a karyotype. All right, because it's a picture of all our chromosomes. And notice that they're paired up in a specific way. These two chromosomes are the same size, same shape. Same size, same shape. Same size, same shape. So we literally have one, two, three, four, five, all the way down to 23 pairs, okay, of chromosomes. All right, and why? Because we inherit 23 from mom, 23 from dad, and and when you organize them all, you can see that mom has given you one chromosome, and dad has given one chromosome. So that's why they're organized in pairs. So remember, one chromosome comes from dad, the other one comes from mom, all right? And chromosomes that are the same size, same shape, are called homologous chromosomes, all right? Now, in this particular um, picture, we can talk about one more thing, all right? Which is this pair right here. These are our sex chromosomes. All right? Our sex chromosomes are our chromosomes that have all the genes that will determine our gender, okay? Are we female or male? When you have two chromosomes that are XX, then that, then those chromosomes will turn this person, okay, into a girl. So remember, we start out as one cell, that's how we get all our chromosomes, mitosis happens, 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 and the instructions on these chromosomes will t force Okay, the development of all those cells into a human girl, right? Now, so it's very important that we understand the difference between sex chromosomes and the rest of the chromosomes. The rest of the chromosomes, okay, which I will highlight here, okay,
Okay, there it is. There it is. Okay. So all the chromosomes, all the chromosomes that I have circled, okay, all the ones that are in here, okay, we call these autosomes, okay, they're autosomes, they're chromosomes that, that they're, they're on autopilot, think of it like that, okay, they have genes, they have instructions, okay, that will determine everything else about you except your gender. Only these chromosomes here, the sex chromosomes, will determine or have the instructions to turn you into a boy or a girl, all right? So to summarize, remember, if you count them all in here, okay, one, two, three, these are 44 autosomes. So we everybody has 44 autosomes and two sex chromosomes for a grand total of 46. So all our diploid cells will have 46 chromosomes. 44 autosomes and two sex chromosomes. Here's another picture of a karyotype. So here we have another karyotype. Karyotype. Now, if you notice, let's take a look at the sex chromosomes again. Notice it looks different than the previous. Now we only have one X and we have a Y. These two chromosomes, all right, when they're inherited, that will have the instructions to turn that one little cell into nine months later into a boy. So boys have an X and a Y chromosome, girls have an X and an X chromosome. Now, I want to show you one more thing. Look at here. This is an example uh, where you, the person inherited an extra chromosome. So instead of having just two, it has three chromosomes that are the same size, same shape. When this happens, specifically, this is common, okay, with this 21st pair, when this happens, okay, the people will end up having a disease called, or a condition called, Down Syndrome, all right? And most of you guys know, okay, what Down Syndrome is. If you don't know, you can Google it after you watch this video. But basically, what ended up happening, there was too much DNA, okay, for this particular set, okay? Because remember, we're only supposed to get one from dad, one from mom, and in this case, two of them, okay, came from one parent, and another came from the second parent, and that's how they ended up with two. So meiosis, okay, the process that creates the sperm and the egg, Okay, when they were dividing the chromosomes to make sure, okay, that they were divided equally, that did not happen correctly. And so when the sperm, okay, joined, okay, it had an extra chromosome, okay, of this 25th first pair, and that's how we ended up with, okay, three chromosomes. Or it could have happened in the egg as well. So. Um, keep that in mind, but hopefully you understand uh, what a karyotype is a little bit better and the difference between a boy and a girl, okay? Girls have two X chromosomes. Boys have an X and a Y chromosome, all right? And these are called sex chromosomes because they determine our gender, right? And the rest of our chromosomes, remember, are called autosomes. For a grand total of 44 plus two, 46 chromosomes altogether.